Drama of the proposed Timberwolves and Lynx sale to Alex Rodriguez and Mark Laurie continues tonight. Meyer Orbach, the second largest shareholder in the two teams, filed a complaint in U.S. District Court alleging that owner Glenn Taylor's pending sale is actually in violation of that franchise's partnership agreement. All right, Don Mitchell joins us now. Don, it's a mouthful. There's a lot of details here. Help us break down what this actually means. Well, first of all, Orbox Group is called Orbit Sports LLC, and they are claiming, like you said, that Glenn Taylor is in, infringing on a lot of what they agreed in their partnership agreement. So, we're going to cut through it all, and it basically comes down to two things, and it won't surprise you, money and moving. I spoke with lawyers for Orbit today and obtained the legal court filing of the complaint. Two of the points at issue, tag-along rights and control sale. Tag-along rights are also known as co-sale rights used to protect a minority shareholder. If a majority shareholder sells his stake, like Taylor is intending, it gives the minority shareholder the right to join the transaction and sell their minority stake in the company or be bought out by the majority shareholder. Now, control sale means the sale or assets or control of a company is being dealt away. So at issue is if Taylor has begun a control sale or not with his agreement with Mark Laurie and A-Rod. Orbit claims Taylor's dealings are considered a control sale now, not when it hits a different stage in the transfer of the company, legally termed tranches. Orbit says once the process has started, it's a control sale and it triggers their tag-along rights, which Taylor is ignoring and therefore for in breach of contract. And Orbit also adds their tag-along rights were a big part of their deal initially to even buy the Wolves with Taylor in the first place. And we're talking big money at stake. Here's section 116 of the legal complaint. It says, as a direct and proximate result of Taylor's party's wrongful actions and inactions, Orbit has suffered and continues to suffer damages and is entitled to damages in an amount to be proven at trial, but believed to be total at least $300 million, including pre- and post-judgment interest, legal fees, and costs of suit. Also at issue during this is the segments of the deal, and that's control of power. In the proposed two-and-a-half-year transfer period where Taylor is an advisory board member, Lori and A-Rod become alternate governors, which is a big deal in the NBA. They move on then to become general partners, and once that happens, there are no restrictions on moving the team. So bottom line, is it either money or is it moving? Which is a bigger deal? You decide. But bottom line, Orbach is not from Minnesota. He is from New Jersey. Now, he does have some business dealings here in the Twin Cities with Orbach Affordable Housing Solutions. He owns some units in St. Paul. But bottom line is, is it money or is it moving? He now owns 17% currently of the Timberwolves and the Lynx. And it should also be noted that he wanted to buy the team from Glenn Taylor before he moved on to Lori and also A-Rod. So there's a lot of muck going on, but $300 million to start at is nothing to sneeze at. And will it stay in Minnesota is another bone of contention. So the two M's you pick, it could be both. Back to mm -hmm. you. All right, Don. Thank you.